It's now time to breathe easier <sighs> with Ted Jenkin from Oxygen Financial. There he is, Ted Jenkin, Oxygen Financial. Topic of conversation, a question that uh, most parents, if not all parents, especially if you've got a teenager at the house like myself, have asked, uh, should I get the kid a brand new car when they turn 16? I think most people would probably say, yeah, because you get the warranty, right? And it's not going to break down. That would be the answer, right? That would make, make, make sense. I think a lot of people think that. My answer would be to never, ever buy your teenager a new car. Don't Why? do it. Why? Don't do it. Because I've got a number of reasons, but the, the first lesson, you have to think about this. You're training your kids financially early in their age, and you can teach them about the one biggest law about money, which is appreciation versus depreciation, right? True. So you know that if you buy a car, no matter what you buy, it's going to lose value in money. And you don't know that your kid's not going to ding up the first car and stuff like that, so there's no well. reason ever in my mind and i know a lot of people like to hear about you know cars and nice cars a lot of kids get get a lot of nice cars here but i would never ever buy my kid a new car as their first car see and that was a north side versus the south side kind of thing on the south side your parents might give you a car but it was a hand me down it was a beater because they knew you were going to raise some hell and hit stuff on the north side though i remember all my friends and my cousins and stuff man birthdays graduation i'm talking about nice cars like my sister-in-law was embarrassed to drive my wife's car in high school to her high school just because you know it's a, everybody's in a beamer everybody's in a new car you know it's unbelievable the pressure on parents to buy kids cars what about a lease I mean, a lease could be possible. One of the leases that can make sense, this is where you could have a new car, is something like an electric car. Especially, well, they're, they're a little gone now, but when there were state tax credits here, they were really good. But some of those leases could make sense, especially because your kid's going to stay underneath the mileage. They're generally not, unless you let them out of the house and drive far, they're generally not going to drive that 12,000 miles. But I'm not a big fan of it as a whole. And I do see in North Fulton especially, kids getting new Jeep Wranglers and oh, yeah. you know getting uh, Hummers and things like that. It's 50 $60,000 cars. I got one of those kids at the house. Yeah. And, and, and I hear you, you know, and these kids, kids just are paying too much attention to their phones. I mean, I don't want to sound, this will make me sound old, but I really don't think a kid should be out driving until he's 18. A kid on the road at 16, I know what I was doing and I didn't even have, you know, now you have phones, you have things that can distract you. Back in the day, there was nothing going on. I was just raising hell. But now kids on their phones, the distraction, if I'm a parent, I'm telling them don't even look at your phone if you're driving. Well, a lot of parents will say, I just want to get a nicer, newer car because I want my you know kid to be safe. And we all want our kids to be safe. But there are a lot of older cars that can still uh, have your kids be safe. And one of the big things parents don't think about often is the ongoing maintenance. So when the parents buy that car, especially a new car for their kid, they could say, well, some of the maintenance is all taken care of in the cost of the car. But in general, the cost on those nicer cars for tires or for ongoing maintenance, even just regular or oil changes and things like that can be incredibly expensive. And and uh, that's the kind of cost that's going to be unsustainable for your child when they have to start really buying their own cars. You want them out of the house when they finish college. When they finish college and that first car you bought them, it's kind of done and they have to get the next car. Well, then what? Right? Because they're not paying for the auto insurance, $2,000. They're not paying for all the upkeep. It might cost you as a family four or $5,000 a year. So then the question is, how does it affect your ability to save for college education, retirement, and things like that? And parents don't think about that. They just want to get the new car. Mm. Well, what about uh, the kid paying for it? Because you're talking about you paying for it. What about the kid paying for it? See, you laugh, but that's that's what my one. Hey brother... guys, I, I see thousands of cases every year. I haven't seen that one in a long no. time. Hey, my my <laughs> my brother's making his son. He's like, I'll pay half. Now my father wouldn't do it. My father said, I'll co-sign for you, but you're going to pay for it. You got to get a job. But he's paying half. And I got another brother that gave both his kids each jeeps. But they're great kids. They do well. They cause no problems. But he still bought them cars. And I'm like, that's that's costing you a lot of well, money. Well, I like what Jason's saying. I mean, I would. I think the kids should pay for it. I know that my first Steve Mustang too not a one, a two, it was yeah. like a $1,500 car. So, uh, Jason, I like the idea of the kid paying for it and getting them a job. It teaches the right values then, but I don't see that that often today. More often than not, the parents are paying and saying, look, when you get on your own, then this is going to be your responsibility. But the kids never really see the bills, and that causes the problem. Then when they get on their own, they realize it's pretty damn expensive.
That's why it's sometimes <clears throat> more affordable if you get a new car and you lease it. You know, like <clears throat> you know the, the the like Chevy Cruze, for example. You know, just that type of car. It's a couple hundred bucks a month. You got the warranty, which usually for two years covers oil changes, tire rotations, and all that good stuff. So instead of spending five thousand dollars on a beater, which you know you're going to have to put another three to five in when it breaks down. That's why I like the idea of leasing a new car. Do you worry though about on a lease? And Ted, you can tell us. I don't know what the the percentage of this or the chances of of them wrecking it and then how does that work when a kid wrecks a lease that's why you get them a tesla so it drives itself <laughs> <laughs> well there's the issue i mean it can be good but there's the issue of your kid dings up the car sure or there's excessive wear and tear on the car that and gets that can, funky that can cost you money um and, and again um i'm a bigger fan of owning in general than i am leasing and holding on to those cars and people are holding on to their cars for longer right now but one of the big problems is if you buy your child a nicer car let one that may be twenty or thirty thousand dollars or more Bam. But look, Jason, it happens all the time up here. I think you're setting them up for failure. Mm -hmm. You know, your kid gets a Jeep Wrangler, one of those things, or a, uh, I'm not saying that's not a nice car, it is, or, oh, no, or a great. Range Rover, or whatever it is. When they get out and they get their first job, I know that all the kids out of school think they're going to make 80 grand, but then when they make 40 and they're in that job and they've got an apartment and everything else, how are they going to be able to afford that car? And it's it's one of the big issues. I wrote this article for the Wall Street Journal. It was one of their top five articles that they had in all of last year in 2016 in the Wall Street Journal. Congratulations, that's huge. Thousands of people commented on this, and and it was all over the place. But I don't. It's it's one of those things that you get your child into that early age of trying to keep up with the Joneses. Like I got to have this kind of car, and it gets very difficult if you don't actually have the income to pay for it. What are you doing for your 15 year old, Bailey? I told him to buy his own car. I did. True story. Did right. you really? Yeah. You did, but he, he is he working currently and going to school? No, that's the thing is he can't work until he's 16. It's hard to, uh, for kids yeah. to find gigs at 15. So that's that's Oh, tough. they will hire you at Kroger. I got a job at Kroger when I was 14 <clears throat> years old. Really? Yeah. You yeah. work minimum wage, so the the most you can make in 40 hours is 140 bucks. But you're working. But, he, you know, he the problem is, is they have no concept of money. So they, they get money. They spend money. Yeah. Uh, it's hard to get them to save it, too buy a car, put money down on a car. Actually, the first thing that I've actually seen my 15-year-old do that was smart with money, he had a gift card from Christmas and he accidentally broke something of his mother's that was <laughs> meant a lot to her. <laughs> Oof. And he, on his own, went onto eBay, took that gift card and replaced it. Uh, that's oh, good. that's sweet. That, there, there is that's hope. Nice. There that's is, good. That was impressive. I will say that's impressive. But no, I'm not buying him anything. Gotcha. Yeah, buy hey, his own car. I see, that's my opinion too. I don't want to my, my uh, and I certainly have the means to be able to buy new cars if I wanted to. But my my oldest daughter right now is nineteen, is driving a two thousand eight Hyundai Tucson, and my my daughter who's seventeen has got a Honda CRV, an older model that has a lot of mileage on it, but it's going to still work just fine and get her from point A to point B till she gets her legs underneath her. So well, no matter what kind of money you have, you the money's better off spent elsewhere. Well, quickly, Bon Jovi, tell us. Yeah, look, we've had uh, well over 200 people that are out there that have already entered the It's My Life with Oxygen Financial Bon Jovi contest for a suite. You ought to enter at OxygenFinancial.net. Come see us. Get a free guide on money. Learn a little bit more how to clean up your finances here in 2017. Excellent. Thank you very much, yeah, sir. Ted. We'll do headlines round number three. Good stuff up.